Good evening and welcome back to this concluding session. Actually, we were uh, discussing a lot about the logistics of uh, finance and certificate uh, for a long time. Yes. Of course, it is a necessary evil. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, uh, I was a little concerned about how effective our workshops are, whether we are fulfilling the objective, that is, uh, uh, how uh, the participants are uh, able to understand what you teach. And that is related to the attending of workshop also. Yes. Uh, one way I thought is, uh, of course, I studied in IIT on, uh, here uh, for PhD. The thing is, uh, most of our faculties are at, uh, say, this level means, of course, you have to be competent and you are teaching at that level. That we cannot reduce. But the thing is, you should step down to that level and try to pull the people at least to a uh, certain level. That is a main objective, I, I feel. Mm. Uh, that, whether it is fulfilled or not, is a big question we need to be discussed. Sometimes when you teach it at that level, it goes as an overhead transmission. It is not going into it and uh, people are not interested and they are not attending, one issue. As you are just talking about the pedagogy for effective teaching, and in that workshop, some three days before I asked, are we going to use Akash tablet? And uh, of course, uh, they said no. But I think that is the very purpose of the workshop, how we are going to use ICT. Yeah for effectiveness of teaching, and that itself is a workshop. And if you are not using the agash which is provided for that, again, it is a major question on the objective of that workshop itself. Yes. So and these I, things... Uh, I agree with you. And in fact, the effectiveness of the Akash project itself can be questioned. If the Akash tablets are not going to be used for something for which an application has been developed. Of course, unfortunately, the madam answered, uh, we are not going to use Akash. There is no need for Akash tablet. I felt very sad about it. Because that is the way you are supposed to train us so that we can use it in the classroom. He might be answering it in a different context. I think it would be bad to generally, generalistically uh, criticize that answer. I don't know in what context that answer was given. But it is not needed like that, she told. Yeah, because for she might be thinking about a specific topic that she has in mind that she will be discussing. Okay, maybe. Or which she believes that she may not need that. That yeah. is quite possible. Yeah, possible. Ah, so the, she, but, she, she was saying that, uh, what he's saying is that they, they will use AV poll. Yeah, I think they are moving towards uh, some wiki, something they, they, they wanted to teach us uh, in the another... Uh, so you see, there are multiple technologies yeah, and it's, different it is available. teachers will use what uh, technology they are familiar with. Yeah, it is true. Yeah. It's true. And by the way, she has not seen convincing proof in IIT that Akash tablets work seamlessly without any problem. And yeah. therefore, she may want a more paper or pencil based survey yeah. or a hand raised survey, which yeah. is more authentic. Yeah, another, uh, and the effectiveness I was thinking, some of uh, you are just playing this PPT as well as the recorded uh, videos. Those things should be avoided and especially PPT should be reduced. Like whiteboard teaching, it is very effective because you go with that f uh, pace. Yes. That is very effective. But sometimes in the PPTs, when you are uh, using the lecture, using PPTs, it goes very fast, and people are not able to catch up with those uh, speed and the quality and the competency. You cannot reduce the competency. That I agree. Sure. Uh, uh, like somebody was saying, the steps to research, it was good. But the competency level was low. That level, we cannot reduce. We should raise the level, but try to go down and pull us to that level. That is objective. Yeah, there is another evaluation of effectiveness we are doing. Some of you might have been contacted by Mr. Hariharan of IST. We have requested them to independently conduct a survey of effectiveness of these workshops by visiting some sample institutions, talking to the teachers who have received the training. These are not necessarily remote centers, but these are teachers from various colleges. So they will go to those colleges, they will talk to these teachers, they will talk to their peers, and they will also talk to the students whom these teachers are teaching. So there is some kind of a comprehensive feedback that we are trying to collect independently. And most of the feedbacks, people are uh, well versed enough to give right answer, but that is not the true answer. For the feedback, people are giving right answers, but true answer, when we interact, yeah. they say the other way around. Yeah. So that is the reason why we, our level of trust in the feedback, particularly for such opinionated questions, has been always limited. We don't trust it too much. But we do get a general trend of thinking. 
So I'll tell you our interpretation, for example, when we ask for overall effectiveness of this workshop, okay? So there are uh, uh, four categories, which are uh, uh, poor, satisfactory, good, excellent, something like that. Now for our interpretation, we always club satisfactory with poor. We never accept the satisfactory as satisfactory thing. So if you see all my reports to the ministry, we have always counted good and excellent. We have never counted satisfactory and poor. Poor is of course poor. But we don't count satisfactory because people who are dissatisfied out of courtesy may write satisfactory. Yeah, true. <laughs> the point that we make is that if there is a satisfactory option available, then people will not write good unless they believe it is slightly better than satisfactory. Yeah, I think this forum we should discuss how to increase the number uh, of people really benefited out of this. Yeah, workshop. now that is that is something that we can discuss. The meeting that I had called here primarily to sort out n number of issues that we have. We have issues not only about attendance, but we have issues about wrong certification of attendance. While that matter is very unfortunate and that matter does not serve any purpose, the larger issue. You will agree that unless that problem is sorted out and rooted out completely, the better things cannot happen. Yeah, one thing I felt maybe it may be uh, other centers, it may be different. This time you have said if a uh, number of people, so many people are registering from a single institution, one certificate from the institution head is enough for registering. Uh, I thought each individual, if they wanted to attend the workshop, let them go to the head of the institution, give an assurance that they will sit and get the uh, uh, permission letter. But uh, this time we have made it, uh, administratively it is easy for us, but it's okay. Yeah, I think, yeah. But it is, uh, some friend, institution it, it is, is going the other way the head of the institution only who is asking his or her faculty members to ditch the workshop and attend the duty. So whether he issues one certificate or 20 certificates, it doesn't mean anything. Yeah, issue yeah. is uh, multifold ah, with yeah, the yeah, different yeah, institutions, yeah. I understand. Anyway. Yes. Sir? But we take that point, yeah. Sir, here. Sir, in the context of improving standards, can IIT Bombay organize a workshop on applications of mathematics in engineering disciplines, which will help both mathematics faculty and engineering faculty? What is the subject you mentioned? Application of mathematics in engineering disciplines. Application of mathematics in engineering. So there is an offer from Professor Sachin Patwardhan to conduct a course which is titled Engineering Mathematics. It's roughly exactly the same idea as mathematics in engineering. That, uh, that uh, title is very good. Application of mathematics in engineering. Engineering mathematics is a very general word. I will talk them. to Professor Sachin Patwardhan and find out what he has in mind. But I have noted down this subject. Because it should be on the application yeah. of yeah, yeah. Sir, operation research is operation research is the thrust area where we can conduct the interview. Operation no, research operations is a part of mathematics. Is, I, I yeah, won't agree with you. Operations research is an important area. It is after uh, part of Von Neumann and Morgenson wrote that treaty. It has evolved into a separate field altogether. We have a separate MTech program in operations research alone. Okay, so to consider technique. operations research as application of mathematics in engineering is unfair both to mathematics and to operations research. Op yeah. op the operations technique. research itself could be a standalone topic that I can understand. But whether we can have an introductory course in operations research I do not know, I will have to check that. Yesterday when I was coming to here, IIT Bombay, from hmm. my college, I was asked by the Applied Science faculty member to pass one request to you, sir. He conducts some workshop on Applied Science subjects, pure Applied Science subjects like physics, chemistry and mathematics. Uh, there is the a physics thing. course which has been promised by Professor Shiva Prasad and Professor Deepan Ghosh, the stalwarts in physics. I've been after them for two years. Uh, Professor Shiv Prasad, as long as he was Dean of Academic Programs, he said, I won't have time. Now he has finished his deanship and has agreed, most probably next summer there would be a course in physics from him. So, uh, like, uh, we have discussed a lot of issues regarding fundings and um, the remote center coordinates, uh, responsibilities and all. But the main question still remains that, uh, about the number of participation in different remote centers. One way that was suggested was that we'll 
uh, notify ahead, uh, well ahead, so that they can plan. But when the actual workshop is going to be conducted, what are the other things that are clashing with the workshop actually decides the number of participation in a remote center. It is, it, it is like that in one part of the country, the participation is very good, but what about the other part of the country? Uh, like, I belong from North East. I have seen the few last five workshops. We, we have been getting the dates of the main workshop in which the entire part of North East have examination within that window. So what will be the perfect window in which the entire country can participate uniformly and the you know, maximum so can be utilized by everyone? Here is a quick poll. It's a very important point that he has raised. Let me just raise this issue. There are 273 people, so it's a very fairly representative number. Tell me the months and time in the year when it is convenient for faculty members in your region to participate in these workshops. We are saying November and December, these are generic things. In month of November, 50% of the colleges will not be able to participate. Okay. Now, let us again come back to specific. In the month of December, their course is starting in December. On the, on the 2nd December, right? Just starting. And yet, there are colleges which are saying they have serious problems in attending that course. So, you are saying there are only 15 days available in the month of December for conducting a workshop to ensure reasonably large participation. Otherwise, it will not work. Less. Okay. You were saying, but some people said fourth week of December and first week of January is also okay. Okay, okay. You see, if I have to conduct multiple workshops, then I have to have a longer duration available. Okay, uh, this is a general, uh, this thing I'm asking. Can we have workshops starting in the last week of May and continuing up to end of June? Last week of May, debatable in which? which? Yeah. Sir, in, in any case, in any case, in, in uh, maybe in May and uh, till half of the June, exams are going on. So some people will object certainly for that period. After that, faculty members are having vacations. They will again object that we want to go on vacation. So let us let us let us go on with whatever the schedule we are having. Because we cannot satisfy everybody every time. Okay. July month is not good. Hundred percent. Not a single day in July. So please note that. Hello. There will be nothing in July. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Sir, you are waiting I for a long time. Yeah. I expect uh, more works of on multidisciplinary subject like electromagnetic field theory, microprocessor, microcontroller, thermal power engineering, Hello. Hello. and also renewable energy and material science particularly for mechanical engineering perspective, fluid power and control, and dynamic machine. Uh, can, you, can you elaborate on dynamic machines? I was not familiar with that term. Actually, <laughs> that is actually for the requirement of the mechanical engineering department. No, no, but uh, can you tell me what is a dynamic machine? I never Hello. heard this term. That I don't know. They already told me. No, no. Uh, Oh, you are talking about theory of machines. Uh -huh, theory of machines. No, no, dynamics of machines I understand. I heard dynamic machines. No, no, dynamics of machines. I was confused. Dynamic of machines. I, I wanted to know what could be a static machine. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fine. But what do you have against the kinematics? Why do you want to discuss only dynamics? Means why do you prefer a course? Complete course in dynamics of machines alone? Uh, okay. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry, my mechanical engineering is knowledge is about 47 years old. When I did some of these subjects as a compulsory subject in a five-year degree co program. Mm -hmm. So I'm not competent to even ask these questions, but I'm asking out of curiosity. So I, I would think that theory of machines is the more common nomenclature to the common course that is given across the country in, in engineering disciplines. 
and that could be a useful subject. And another is a uh, sensor and actuator. <laughs> very, very useful subject. Okay, I have noted your list, mm -hmm. uh, but I would still suggest that since the objective of this entire program is to concentrate on introductory courses, preferably common courses with engineers of several disciplines required. And that is why, as I said, we are concentrating on science and core engineering courses. So some of the courses that you mentioned can be regarded as core, but some others not. Mm -hmm. As far as this project is concerned, we will concentrate on this. But I will pass on this list to mechanical engineering department colleagues. Mm -hmm. Because one more thing that we have agreed is that we will try to have every fortnightly or such programs on Sundays for a day-long research conclaves on specific areas where faculty members who are expert in that area can meet with other interested faculty members. And when they discuss research Hello. issues, they could Hello. also discuss educational issues. Okay. I will leave it. Okay. Yeah. Whenever we decide any subject to conduct movie for one week or two weeks, we consider uh, other faculty members who are dealing that subject, they might be give some suggestion. Like uh, in one of the case, I know one of one of the good literature which is available. Uh, no doubt, it is not Indian literature. Book is called as a Sanjil. So that book is emphasizing more practical oriented problem. So if we can include those practical oriented problem in your, your you know, training session in which 10,000 or the faculty member are participating, then that definitely that will uh, enhance uh, the question which he is raised to increase uh, this, the This is what we do, by the way, when we conduct the coordinators workshop. The coordinators are supposed to interact in two ways. One, they are supposed to familiarize themselves with the way the tutorials, labs, etc. are conducted in IIT. Second, and equally important, they are supposed to bring the knowledge of teaching and learning that happens in their college, the syllabus, and any additional points that they want to suggest, which the faculty members here note down. And they factor all of this into their training program. So only if the workshop coordinators who come to attend that workshop keep quiet and do not give this additional input, then only there is a danger. But otherwise, there is an adequate opportunity to do what you are saying. We always collect this feedback from all coordinators. Any suggestions, any... I think that need to be implemented. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Sir, uh, regarding the workshop schedule, sir. Hmm. So, I can agree with that professor's statement. Whatever the schedule you can put on uh, the record date, you can uh, put as usual. So, uh, under Anna University, the examination was started on 5th November. Hmm. And it is going to be ended on December 1st. If it's so... So, if you are putting the schedule after December 24th or in the month of January, then again you might have the problem. So, once if you are conducting the workshop as per your schedule, we will alert the faculties accordingly and we can enroll our faculties accordingly. So, that is my suggestion, sir, as I agree with that, Professor. Uh, One in more thing. I, 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 I appreciate what you said and what you said, that is what is truth. The objective here was not to guarantee that we'll ensure conduct of workshops only in this time. The objective was to find out largely what is the common time when people are free, so that if possible, we'll try to accommodate as many workshop schedules in that period as possible. But otherwise, you are right, we'll announce the workshop schedules and then people can participate. In fact, it is from this point of view, because there have been several observations that for two weeks, for faculty members to spend continuous time was difficult. That is where we introduced the model of doing a two-week workshop with one-week work being done online. Now, that model is probably closer to the complete online MOOCs which are anyway going to come. So, that is what we'll try and do as in as many workshops where the faculty members agree that that is a workable model, we'll announce that. So, the physical time they have to spend is only one week. And then that one week can be accommodated in the most common period when people are free. But the point is that the remaining one week work that they will have to do online, that has to be completed properly. In um, my experience of computer programming workshop is that work was done by and large well by people. The only thing we did not insist is that unless you do that work properly, you will not be admitted to the physical face to face thing. So that we permitted some people to attend, although they are not completed all assignments. 
but majority of the people had done that in that sir uh, is it possible to open the moodle sir by that uh, the faculties those who are not submitted the assignments so by that we can uh, give a chance to them to submit their assignments once again is it possible uh, i do not know whether now uh, uh, once the workshop dates are over the faculty members will not accept it is like saying that uh, uh, students of a regular semester they gave all the exams but did not submit the assignments we also submit the assignment here also people submit the assignments on moodle but their assignments submitted after the last date are not taken cognizance of results once declared remain same if they wish they can re-register for a workshop if it is repeated later <laughs> but otherwise it's not possible yeah. hello sir mag hello, in the hello in the various workshops maximum portion of the subject has to be covered to the extent possible sir. yes only to some extent we are covering the subjects because the whole syllabus which we are having in the various semesters for different subjects only a part of the subject is covered therefore to the extent possible because uh, i think fundamentals can live because student uh, the staff members are going to have basic knowledge and uh, instead of concentrating on basic subject uh, fundamentals better to go for uh, improving the standards further at a higher level better to teach the workshop, uh, workshop classes that is one thing lecture should be more application oriented sir and uh, one more thing this interactive session should be at the end of each session instead of at the end of the day thank you, thank you sir sir uh, i would like to add one subject uh, power electronics power electronics and other subject is sir integrated circuits it is the basic subject integrated circuits sir one request is sir while conducting the course uh, instead of showing the video if the iit faculty member is explaining those concepts means it will be reaching all the participants easily sir but the video is exactly the same thing the iit professor explaining things the video is not somebody else's so, uh, so in which way is the video not doing the same thing that you are suggesting is the iit faculty member explaining things isn't it some videos that the faculty member has to listen to themselves sir ah uh, that's right mm. and the, but in they, are, in, they have to spend it uh, their own time and they have to listen those videos in online studies that is exactly what happens anyway it should be uh, it's that sir but uh, if uh, it's uh, explained by the coordinator no, in fact it is the best explanation of his that has been recorded he cannot explain better than that but he is available for answering questions hmm. anyway that was the style that one particular teacher adopted see just like all of us have our own individual styles even the experts have their own style about covering the maximum portion of the syllabus that was a point may let me react to it the objective of these training workshops or what you call short term training programs or faculty development programs is not as much as cover the entire syllabus that is covered but is also to discuss the manner in which that subject ought to be taught so it is quite possible that portions of the syllabus are not covered but those portions which are covered are dealt with from both angles not only the knowledge of those concepts but how best to explain that concept what examples to give and so on so i would submit that covering of the syllabus is not the fundamental objective anyway how many courses will be covered in this we had we had promised the government that we will cover 15 subjects totally we have, in, no no in in 3 years yes in a year we are getting only two months december and uh, <coughs> right but we are conducting parallel workshops so iit bombay is conducting workshops iit kharagpur is conducting workshops <laughs> no we have noted that people have stated but what people said july no no absolutely but Excuse january me, some people said huh? at the time of start of the session we can uh, we can and we cannot the point i am making is that 
eventually, by the way, the complete training programs will also move online, totally. But before that, we will be conducting more programs, part online and part face-to-face, -face, where the face-to-face -face activity is limited to one week. When it is limited to one week, it is possible to use these limited weeks of May, June and December to conduct more workshops. Because those will be parallel workshops, they will physically require only one week of attendance. Rest of the work will be done online. And therefore, more of them can be juxtaposed to each other. That is what should happen in 2016, is what we hope. Yes, yeah. sir, uh, my, my, I'm having a question, uh, 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 request rather that uh, if in few workshops, if a remote center does not register us, as I talked in lunch, du uh, during lunch to Mukta ma'am, such as in cybersecurity workshop, our institute was not uh, because of uh, the session started and so, but few of our faculty members along with me wanted to attend those uh, lectures. So they could have attended uh, the workshop elsewhere? In, in other, if I, if I have to go to any other remote center, I have to take 10 days DL and so on. Right. And it was not permitted by, uh, from my college. So if I'm having the setup, I don't want any remuneration, I don't want any certificates, but I want to attend the workshop. What so is the problem? But sir, um, the AVU connections and every week, if we are not registered, then we'll, we'll not be able no, to No, 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 that is not, I mean, if we want to give AVU connectivity, I mean, it's like somebody wanting to audit. So you can attend, but you can not intervene. You will be like audit students. Yes, that Ab will. Absolutely no problem. In that fact, I will, I will go to the following suggestion that we, uh, Sajjan at least does the following also. He also does a webcasting. I think you will also be able to do that, right? They also do the webcasting. So anybody who wants to attend, it is absolutely free. No issue. And the so second is one request regarding timings. Because if the timings are up to 5.30, then it extends up to 6 and 6.30 because of the interaction sessions. And uh, because of that, we have to have another bus because our college is outskirts, so we have to uh, force to have two buses, three buses extra. And after that, they all go to Pura... Um, this has been communicated by many people. The only choice is we advance the beginning of the course. So that instead of starting at 9.30, we start at 9 or even at 8.30. I have no problem. Sir, My problem is that then there will be remote centers where there will be nobody in the morning. Is there a universal agreement if we start at 9 o'clock? Yes. 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 But please understand that when we say 9 o'clock, that means at 8 or 8.15, your staff will have to start the AVU Log in, yes, do all the testing. Yes, sir. Nine o'clock sharp, the lectures will start. Yes, sir. Fine. The second point is, we will, we will have, uh, Mukta, I think you should be making down notes of these points. One, we'll start at nine o'clock. Second, about the interaction, we will all try to ensure that the interaction is as effective and as efficient as possible. So that the time is limited, but maximize the interaction. And if we say we close at 4 or 4.30, we close at 4 or 4.30. Now, one of the things that is required is that during any session, tea break, lunch break, the workshop coordinator must proactively collect all questions, must type those questions in, in advance, either on the chat session or whatever mechanism that... Uh, and these questions are available to the teacher. So when the teacher will then say that these are the questions that I'm going to take up, we will of course have an interaction in the sense that he will point out this from 1035. So 1035, that person can raise and ask that question quickly so that the person is actually participating. But there should be much advanced notification as possible to minimize the time loss. There, of course, could be voluntary questions or something, but if we agree to optimize all of this, uh, 4 o'clock will be almost impossible to guarantee, even if we start at 9, but 4.30, we can definitely close. And what we'll do is we'll ensure that we close at 4.30. Second point, the only way we can accommodate even this 9 to 4.30 is that we'll have to do away with this luxurious and generous 
tea break and lunch break for long time. There is no need for a half an hour lunch break, uh, tea, break, tea break or no need for a one hour lunch break. Yes. We can have a 20 minute tea break and a 40 minute lunch break. Yes. No, no, it means that there are some remote centers where uh, tea was to be had by walking some 10 minutes and therefore it is impossible. You, no, no. If, if we are going to charge people some money and if we are going to tell them that there will be no tea or food served, then will they be able to make their own arrangements Hello. in 20-minute tea break and 40-minute lunch break? Yes, sir. Hello. No, no, these are all related issues. Please think about them. But we will say that we will agree to build the program from 9 to 4.30. We will see how we can organize sessions like that. Okay. Sir, uh, due to the star ratings, ah. to get the star rating, there is an interaction rush. Every center wants to interact. <laughs> that is the point. <laughs> it is at least once. It is compulsion. No? Uh, I think if, if you are encouraging your participants to rush to ask questions, just to improve your star rating, then you are living in a different paradise. Star rating is not dependent on how many hands are there. No, no, I have seen, sir, every center is that there is hand raise. It is because of the interaction to get the star points. There is hand raise everywhere. Let me clarify. All such things are related to quality of reception of video transmission at both ends. It has absolutely nothing to do with anything else. If your quality is bad, if you ask 10 questions, you will still get a shit pot rating. I guarantee you that. Because we know what quality we see and your participants know what quality they see. That is what matters. Nothing else matters. Please understand that. If there has been a misinterpretation because of the language, please correct it. That was never the intention. That is not the intention. Thank you, sir. Right. Sir, I have a request that uh, the RC coordinator should also be allowed to register for a workshop. So since uh, we don't get registered for any workshop, so we don't get those assignments, so we don't get benefit from those assignments, those quizzes, That is not correct. All RC coordinators are registered as non-editing teachers. No, sir. No, sir. Uh, sir no. I like computer network workshop. It. So we are only doing the administrative but tasks, what do you mean? sir. Means they don't have access to Moodle. Oh, no. One second. Yes, workshop sir. coordinators are registered. Yes, sir. But RC coordinators, they are not registered for the I, I mean, how I am a computer science professor and there is a thermodynamics workshop. No, no, no. no. For uh, the area of my area, sir. At I, least like... <coughs> One second. I will... We... In the morning, we agreed that we will all be registered as non-editing teachers. All RC coordinators will be registered. That decision we have taken. But the objective is for the RC coordinators to monitor whether the... Uh, remote center participants from that place have submitted assignments or not, etc. So that means that uh, we cannot have that benefit from these workshops. So we are doing only the monitoring tasks then. So like uh, of my area, like if some uh, works, I am from EC background, sir. So why you are not prevented from registering as a participant in that program? No, no, I cannot register, sir. Yes, sir, we are exempted. But sir, the only not of my two, area I am talking, sir. No, no, no. Okay. Both okay. Yes, sir. Okay. I, I understand what you're saying. Yes, sir. If you are a participant in that course, hmm, you only... cannot be a remote center coordinator for that duration. Uh, so, how do we... Uh, do no, remote... nothing. You uh, just say, I want to register for this course. I shall not be remote center coordinator for this workshop. So, sir, who will do the... Uh, nothing. The... Let the workshop coordinator become also the remote center coordinator for that period or appoint somebody else. You cannot... You cannot fulfill two roles. Yeah, I understand one that, of sir. the participant and one of the supervisor of that participant. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, the, the only point that is being made is, if I am a participant in a workshop, then I will get a certificate of participation, but I will not get a certificate of being a remote center coordinator for that workshop. Right. Sir, many of the RCC coordinators are from uh, computer science background. Otherwise, 
many of the remote center coordinators are from computer science background or mechanical background. Uh -huh. So many workshops were conducted on mechanical and computer science. So now IIT Karapku has started uh, related with EC and Tripoli. So we can give concentration to other branches also, civil engineering, right? You can, uh, the beginning of the year, you can send mail to all the institutions, RCC centers. You can collect the details, who are the toughest subject. So you can select, most of the RCC will give, that is a common subject. Based on their uh, information, you can give the, you can choose the worst of uh, subjects. That will be the best for us. Okay. We face Hello. lots of difficulties for faculties. Yes. Three workshop continuously, computer programming, computer networking, cyber security. Okay. Uh, so let me tell you, okay, okay, let me explain why that was important. We had not planned three workshops. We had planned only two workshops. We had planned a workshop on computer programming and we had planned a workshop on networking. The networking workshop also got introduced that time instead of conducting it later, but originally we had planned, we do not like more than one subject in an area to be conducted at one time. But these two subjects we had planned. The Prime Minister's office conducted an important meeting on the threat, cyber threat to the country. The chief advisor to the Prime Minister said that we need to urgently create information officers in the country who can man the cyber security threat redressal mechanisms which are being put in place. This is not well known to all, but the threats are real. And the threats are not coming from hackers. They are coming from state agency. A special request was made to urgently conduct a workshop to sensitize and familiarize teachers of what importance it is and how they could help in create such information system officers. That cyber city work, uh, security workshop was put in place by us in the shortest ever time. That was a very special case. So it was, it was not intended. Now it so happened from a perspective of a remote center, what you say, I can understand. We have received so many cribs that one after another, where do we get faculty members? But let me assure you that those faculty members who attended that cyber city work, security workshop have benefited from the certain from India has com complimented me saying that at least now we know these are the teachers who are available. If we have to conduct some programs for some officers or something, we know that these teachers are available. That was a very special purpose thing. It, was, it had nothing to do with this, except that they used part of my budget to conduct that workshop, that's all. <laughs> yeah. I suggest the topic, alternate fuels. Alternate fuels? fuels. Well, are non-conventional energy sources. There is a request which has just come in, a special request. 50,000 people need to be trained on solar energy because India has just revised the target of obtaining electricity from solar energy. And on 11th, there is a big meeting with the Ministry of Non-Conventional Energy Resources, our experts and me, as to how they could use the T10KT mechanism. So please don't be surprised if you start getting requests for shorter courses on uh, solar energy and such thing for training people. Uh, sir, I have two suggestions or in, I, I request you that uh, first thing, uh, we are conducting two week workshop for our teachers, one week offline, one week, one is face to face. Right. While we are going to uh, uh, requesting faculties to attend the on offline workshop, uh, uh, getting all the doc uh, materials and all these things, is it possible to conduct an online test to those participants that we should at least judge whether they really learn from those time or not? Yes. Then we are going to allowing them for the face-to-face. -face. It will be done. In fact, as I said, we will be using the SWAM platform or IIT Bombay test platform, which is a provision for online test under what we call the honor code certificate. In fact, there will not be just one online test for the five to six weeks that we give them for completing online work. 
they will have to give one quiz every week and additionally they will have to give a completion quiz at the end of five weeks and only when they successfully complete they will be able to join the workshop because so, some of our remote center coordinators saying that in my department there are a n number of faculties and all faculties are going for the same workshop. I am quite surprised that how, how, how it is possible for a department we have 10 faculties for the same subject who uh, teaching that subject from last 3 years to 4 years. I am quite surprised. That's why I am uh, raising this question. And uh, second one is sir, uh, we never have a remote center feedback after any workshop. This, this took two years to come back to IIT Bombay. I'm the first person, I'm coming to IIT Bombay first time being a RC, remote center coordinator. So we never have any remote center coordinator workshop after every workshop because we face lots of problem. We can't communicate with you every time speaking with you on a phone that, sir, I have this problem, I have that problem. Can it is possible for us to put the things on paper? That means uh, by writing something in front of you, then you will take it and doing something. Uh, what uh, there is, an, uh, whether we use Moodle or we use Swayam, but since we have taken a decision that for every workshop, all remote center coordinators will be non-editing teachers, we'll do one more thing. We'll make a group of all RC coordinators and we'll have a discussion forum meant only for them, where at the end, a quiz or questionnaire will be circulated to them and additionally they can give comments so that all the feedback from the remote centers is obtained by us immediately at the conclusion of that workshop. I said excellent suggestion, we'll do that. Uh, Sir, I have a suggestion for IIT Kharagpur. Uh, as a remote center, I have uh, continuously monitoring that uh, they don't have keep soft coffee for the uh, course they have teach or taught. Uh, so I won't just suggest that okay, why should not IIT Kharagpur also maintain the soft copy of the content as the IIT Bombay has done. All soft copies, all video recorded lectures and soft copies of the material because we have said that we'll release all of it in open source. Yeah, fine. So that should no. be put on the your website or something. Okay. I have uh, seen uh, most of the uh, instructor has uh, used uh, their pen and uh, pages like in signaling system. Yes, but IIT won't be prefer what PDF and PPTs. So what happened after uh, during a workshop, participant can recall the previous topic. But in case of writing that, they are unable to do that. So sometimes the, it is the demotivation factor for the participant who willing to do complete their assignment. And that will totally what overall uh, degrading the star rating of the remote center both. No, no, all recordings are there. No, uh, sir, uh, recording I think has been put it on as an open source after completing the workshop. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, as uh, the course has been running, uh, after a day has been going to complete, the PDF has been loaded, uh, put onto the Moodle. Right. They can prefer uh, uh, at night or one day after. So uh, these content are not there. No, these contents are not easy to put on the same day. Our people have to struggle. Please understand that to render a recorded video takes four to five hours. All right, what I, I have noted the point. What, what we'll do is whatever is possible okay, to be uploaded immediately at the end of the day, on the same day, we'll try to provide that. Okay, maybe, sir, okay, sir. maybe the raw recordings can be just put up and can be replaced later by. Use the slides. Sir, uh, okay. sir, will you please permit the MTech students to attend these workshops as silent part participants if they are interested? Yes. Uh, MTech students can attend, but as they will not partners. be given certificates. No, no, it's okay. If they are interested, if they can participate, it's good. Yeah. That is, even, <laughs> that even now we are saying, it is, it is never, they are never prevented. Okay. There is, there are two very quick things that we would like to mention. Sir, sir, just yeah. one question, sir. Sir, I had a question to make. You said that you will be making a forum wherein all the remote center coordinators can come and give you suggestions. I have one constraint regarding this, sir. If you remember, last time you had a mail from one remote center coordinator using all the nuisance words for you and uh, it was just for the sake of certificates that they were not getting. 
had even written a mail to you also and that person also. Instead, he got back at me and asked me, whether, are you the spokesperson for Dr. Pathak? So my suggestion is such forum, if created, should be monitored by somebody at your place and then only those suggestions and feedback should be posted on net. No, no that, is not, that is never done in open discussion forums. Anybody is free to write. Committed some mistake. If you remember that mail, sir. It's okay. I need not have apologized. People will not apologize. But please understand that there is a new self that is evolving on all e discussions across the world. It is a new thing, netiquette, as we say. The netiquettes people have to become familiar with. They are not yet familiar with. That is why these things happen. But don't worry. In the long run, an open forum where anybody can say anything that one wishes is the best way. Just like democracy is the best way, in spite of all problems associated. <laughs> For the financial matter, I will only say one conclusion before I take the last two or three questions here. That we will definitely have one workshop next summer, most probably in uh, research methodologies, which will be a workshop as a step towards self-sustaining, where the model will be, we'll charge 1,500 rupees as the fees for the course with no implication of cost from the project funding except the coordinators workshop and the hub cost. That will be a trial workshop that we'll do and with the feedback and then we'll take the next view. Is that okay with all? Fine. So we'll do that. But one suggestion which a couple of teachers made is that even there, even for that 1500 rupees fees that is collected by the institution, IIT Bombay should send a guideline to the institution saying that this is the self-sustaining model. However, in this model envisages payment of such and such honorarium to the people from the college which work for that particular workshop and this is the contribution that the college should keep. Because it is felt that unless IIT Bombay sends such a letter, uh, there different things may happen in different colleges. So is that okay? Right, we'll do that. So we'll work out proportionately whatever works out for that 1500 rupees charges and we'll work out those details and send it to him. The course on probability random processes yeah. and uh, along with that linear algebra, if you can club the applications of linear algebra. No, we cannot club probability and random processes, linear algebra, both are independent At, courses. Okay. I will try to enthuse my colleagues yeah. to run both the courses independently. Uh, both the courses which are going to be useful for fundamental research, I think that people can, people yes. can start. Yes. Thank you. Sir, I have a suggestion. There is one question there, I will take that first. I, I have a suggestion. Can we design a feedback mechanism also huh. in, uh, in that maybe uh, at the end of the workshop, the workshop coordinator should submit a feedback of all the participants and maybe the remote center coordinator can submit a feedback about the workshop coordinator. We just agree for, for, for participants, we always have a feedback, always. But the workshop we, coordinator should submit uh, that how so one participant is attended. Workshop coordinators and in addition the remote center coordinator so we should have a separate, perhaps we should have a separate feedback with inclusion of comments to be written by individuals to be included at the conclusion of the course. We'll do that. Sir, my question is, uh, is it necessary to fill, to get field creative license form by candidate? If you make Sorry? option, creative license form by the candidates. Uh, if, we, if we make option available at the time of submission of a form, then uh, it will be online. Achha, what, what they are saying Creative is, license form, sir. Why do we have to get a certificate? Yes, signature? why, why, why did they say to make sign it by the as candidate? a part of their registration? Online. At the it's time a good idea. We, can make it. We, could, we could collect this online submission from the participant at the time of registration itself. That there will be a clause which will take, where he will say that I agree to this. Excellent. You have removed one extra process unnecessary. Please make any such suggestions to improve or increase online activity of information collection and reduce the paperwork. We are all sick of receiving scanned copies of signed documents and so on. And you are all, I know, sick of preparing them and sending them. <laughs> but till we find some alternative, we may have to continue doing that. All right, uh, we will, uh, uh, first of all, let me take this opportunity First, thank all of you 
and thank my colleagues from IIT Kharagpur. <laughs> but I will be failing in my duty if I do not specially pick out a peculiar set of people who are neither faculty members in IITs nor faculty members in your places. And these are the workshop teams at IIT Bombay and IIT Kharagpur. If people like Subrato and Sajjan or people like Mukta and uh, Mr. Ghosh and others, if they were not there, we would not have been able to run these workshops. So if you agree, let's give them a big hand for all the work that they're doing. Thank you.